Um, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omar Plays, and welcome to Dungeon Siege Throne of Agony. Now, I'm not exactly going to make this in a series per se. Unless people want to, I decided I was going to play it today. So, if you want to play it. So, yeah. Reminds me, I forgot to actually set up some video things. So, moment. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know if it's going to interfere with anything, but if I have to toy with it a little bit, um, you'll see. At the death of Voldis, the but yeah, I played this a little bit, um, enough to know what I'm doing. My first ever character that I actually played through most of the game with, as far as I know of most of the game with, was a mage. Then I played a little bit as a warrior. Uh, I don't think I played like the ranger, it was called a rogue. But just alone, this game's actually a lot like D&D, and I'm a big D&D geek, so... Yeah. But I've never actually played any other one except for this one right here. So, that is something to note. I don't know if there's any more than just this at all, but if there is, please let me know. But, yeah. I just decided I was gonna actually play this. So let's quickly. I'm gonna create a new character. Let's see. So we have the Shadow Stalker, <coughs> uh, the Warlord, or the Battle Mage. Like I said, I, pl I originally played the Battle Mage and I got really high level inside. Never beat the game, but then I switched over to the Warlord a little bit. I've never played though the Shadow Stalker. Uh, more than just actually testing it out a little bit to make sure the game actually ran completely. From what I know, it's Shadow Stalker is a lot like a Ranger, but I know each individual character has a slight diff differing variation of the story. So, yeah, let's see. Although blind, Siren has mastered the use of special vision modes and can perform deadly attacks with dual weapons. So, dual weapons. Oh, sure, why not? Okay, yeah, one thing I've noticed that throughout it, you actually get a follower. That is that is a lot... It's really similar to it is inside of D&D and Pathfinder, where you get a companion that's actually slightly weaker, but can do some things you can't. Let's see... We got the Archer. He's good with range, not too good with magic, but his defense is decent, his speed's phenomenal. Well, it seems like the Hawk is actually a bit more well-rounded. <coughs> it's relatively decent with melee, ranged, magic, defense is poor, but speed's not bad. I guess I'm gonna go with the Hawk. I am still receiving visions, and if I still receive them... So if I have to, I'll have to actually pause and actually edit some configurations I have so let you know yeah sorry Terminar has come and gone we could not stop it and for our arrogance in trying we have been stricken blind the world is broken we have failed in our charge so yeah I don't remember this part exactly which okay honestly it does have a lot of options for playing the game I I remember as you level up you can choose exactly what path you want to go I like the mage for example you can eventually go necromancer or archmage um I believe the war the warlord can go rune lord or something I don't remember what she can go though, because I only like popped in to see how it was. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll block this check, honestly. But sorry about the noise though, I did hit my mic, my mic stand a little bit. 
Yeah, I've seen this thing has multiplayer, but I don't have anybody else that I actually I can play with. So, yeah. They might hear you. Okay, I remember a little bit of this here. You actually have certain characters who actually speak for themselves. So, we need to just listen to them, okay? What? Where am I? You from the ship. Just listen. I was third mate aboard the ship. We survived the shipwreck. These beast men killed everyone. I'm getting us out of here. Just stay calm. Listen. Fight your way out of here. You must. You must reach. Sea Haven to warn them. So I don't know everything about this. So evidently somebody's something's coming to Sea Haven to destroy them. I imagine. I would assume he's dead. Okay, what controls was it again for this? Okay, so we have A being the attack key. Okay, so she has a shadow dash for an attack. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, no wrong command. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is the menu. Let's see. Class advancements. We have Ranger, which sounds pretty cool to go into. Or we have the Blade Master. Let's see, the Ranger. The Uncharted Reach are my home. For only those can one truly behold the raw power and ferocity of nature. We require 30th level. Let's see, the focus on the skills of the wild. The ranger becomes capable of surviving in the harshest conditions and defeating large predators. Okay, so basically it's like the ranger inside a DD and Pathfinder pretty much. Well the Blade Master Okay, so looking through this real quick, it's basically like inside a DD and Pathfinder we choose a combat style for either archery or melee. So, I know I'm taking a lot of comparisons between the two, but the fact is it actually is a good comparison at this point. See, so then there's a sniper. It requires range of level 60. Um, so, you actually come better as a sniper. You get the hunter. Let's see. Once on the trail, all of their skills and cunning are brought to bear. And, sorry, the beer. And the huntress will not stop until her prey has been brought down. I would assume this means, honestly, I have no fucking idea, okay? We have t four, ultimately, endgame classes we get to choose from. <coughs> and they will determine about what we actually choose here. We don't have to worry about it now, but if I decide to play the game later on my own or recording, we'll have to see there. Let's see, the sniper... And he seems more, more similar to the Blood Assassin. Well, inside of Pathfinder, you get a Pathfinder D&D, sorry. You get a couple different options. Um, going melee or ranged. Going ranged could be the best option. But melee can also be really good, too. So, I'm thinking we're going ranged if I reach that higher level. <laughs> Which then you get the Sniper or the Huntress. In Pathfighter they have a class called the Hunter. Um, that's where you get a animal companion like a Druid. But you focus a lot on melee and magic more than the Druid does. Similar to that of the Ranger. It's a combination of the Ranger and the Druid. And that maybe where this here is actually where similar similarity actually draws from. So... Yeah, but what does the sniper give? It's a question. So, yeah. So currently our skills, we don't get any skill points. We get dual wield, which is a passive. We can do more damage with this. Blink attack, that's what it was. A quick teleport right next to the enemy and launch a surprise attack. So that could be really good. Rapid strike. Uh, finishing that. Finishing the... the Okay, so it doesn't actually do too much. Evasion is something to be really good. I don't care exactly who it is. Being able to dodge attacks better is really good. 
Let's click the link below. Let's see. So far, nothing for actual range I'm seeing. Okay, not until 20th level, really, primarily. So you can go into Rage, wait a minute. Okay, enhances the uh, caster by providing bonus elemental damage on every attack. Sorry, hit my desk. Okay, so we get fire, frost, and lightning damage and attack speed increase. That's pretty fucking good. Okay, improves the character's attack speed. Stun fire trap. So you can set traps. Okay. Okay, it's starting to sound more similar to that of the rogue now. We're going to have to see how we actually go with this. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so... I can say one thing I don't exactly agree with too much when it comes down to this game is primarily how you have your mana regen like it does. But I'm gonna have to pause this for a moment because I think something's fucked up. Okay, yeah, evidently the map wasn't showing. I had to change the resolution a bit. That kind of sucks, but we're here anyways, so why not? I don't remember how I actually got it beforehand to actually work the way it was. Yeah, take all them potions. That hawk's doing pretty good. Okay, that was decent. Yeah, I like how the combat system is. It's actually in nowhere near similar to Final Fantasy, but I like, of course, Final Fantasy's combat system for a totally different reason why I do anything else, really. A lot of people are going to disagree with me, but Final Fantasy, in my honest opinion, is a lot more story than it is combat. And that's really what it is, at least up until more recently. Uh, my opinion of the combat for when they decided they were going to go into more of a first person kind of thing. Well, not first person, like actual real time combat. It wasn't actually doing that great. But I've seen the trailer and some of the gameplay of Final Fantasy VII, the remake. So, that ought to be really good. So. So, yeah, so what are these little gauge this gauge filling up, honestly? I'm really curious. I remember having to go against a necromancer in the past. Okay, seriously, what are these gauges that gauge for? Little slots filled up when I use a special attack. Well the B, the O attack, whatever. But I leveled up anyway, so spin character points. Okay, if we're going to be actually using a bow eventually, we need to increase agility, it seems. Let's see, increases armor, uh, chance of dodge attack, um, range attacks. That would be really good. The only increase the maximum hit points, and the weight of hit points, and mana regen. That would be really good, too. <coughs> There's something else here, honestly. Um, this is something that a lot of other games have problems with, especially when they're actually MMOs. And that's how you actually have an option to be able to increase the health and mana regen. Because eventually you're going to just have a point where it's not going to ever run out. So... But it's but being here, it could actually be relatively decent. I've never actually played around with it too much. But willpower, increase maximum mana, magic attack power, and resistance to fire, frost, and lightning could use a lot, especially to death and arcane. It increases defense, critical hit chance, and chance to find gold and magic items. I'm gonna say increase stamina, uh, stamina, agility, and luck. Let's see, but this here increases melee attack power. We only have melee right now. But fuck it, let's confirm it. So, yeah. Let's see, what's the follow information here? Okay, so... Yeah, summon. Let's see, view abilities. So it's basically like an animal companion. Good to know. But we have a skill point. We have Rapid Strike, which we just unlocked. 
the we increase it, it will cost more mana the damage increases but the attack speed also increases and if I press it to assign a button yes <laughs> Oh, because that's what it's for. Okay, so pressing up allows you to be able to activate the map. I think it's good in the top right hand corner, honestly. But, okay, let's see. Let's gather all of the potions. Take all. <coughs> well, can we get more? No? Okay. So, it increases power for when we actually use our O attack. It's really good to know, so... So as it increases, I imagine it would increase in damage. So what do we got? A buckler. It would actually disable our two weapon fighting. So... I would assume it would. Let's see. Inventory, weapons, armor... Let's see. Offhand. Yeah, it's used offhand. Need level 3 though. But gear, let's see. <coughs> okay, three armor. Pretty good, yeah. Can I equip two? No. Well, fuck. <coughs> I'm really sorry about the coughing. But either which way, let's see. Let's try this on, actually. Okay, so it actually gives us a countdown for how long we actually have. Okay, that's good. But I'm drastically running out of mana. Okay, so we'll level up again. It's, uh, I've noticed about playing the game itself, it's really easy to level up. In the beginning, at least. Let's see, Alloy Gauntlet. Can we actually equip that? Arm, let's level four. Maybe later, though. Okay, so we load up again. So let's actually continue spending our points. Okay, it seems like they actually automatically increase as we level up. Okay, so they increase as we level up, honestly, and then we can get spare points to actually distribute the way we want to. That's really good. It's been a while, like I said, since I've played this game. I haven't ever played it for this character. And in doing so, there's a lot I don't know about the game. Okay, the crossbow would be very handy right now. Okay, let's see. this weapons and equipment. Can we actually use it? Okay, can't. Only it performs for melee. That's not good. So this is all we got right now. So we need to get enough combo to use it. Okay. So, oh yeah, we have another ability point. Well, go point or yeah, whatever. Yeah, we can't do this. A quick teleport. It's only for melee attacks, though. I didn't mean to do that. So. Crippling shot, we get it 6th level. I'm going to have to save the points up for a little bit. And that's just so I can actually get some get higher level. Okay, so... It's going to be a bit harder than what I thought. Okay, what's this here? Did I forget something? I forgot something. Okay, so... So for now, let's honestly switch back to actual weapons. So that's secondary though. Okay, so... Like I said, I have no fucking idea. No, I didn't want to go into abilities again. Okay. This is my problem. So, let's see. Stop using the fucking D-pad, dumbass. 
Okay, for this, it's one-handed. It's fast, but we need to be level 5 for that. So, for now, let's just equip this. But I don't know how you do a secondary, or activate a secondary weapon. Weapon set, at least. Okay, so... Yeah. Consumables. Okay, so we can do that. So he's got to be like a high-level creature. Okay, I switched weapons somehow. Okay, so... How do we switch again? Okay, so that's what that's for. Okay, so... What? <laughs> I was just equipped. How in the hell? Okay. Okay, so this key can actually do that. Okay, good to know. That actually makes things a bit easier. Okay, so that's how we do that. Okay, thank God I figured that part out because that was going to be really irritating me. So, now we know we have a crossbow that we can actually switch between with. That's really great. <laughs> it seems that attack there actually stuns for a moment. So, good to know for that, I guess. Honestly, there's still so much I don't know about this goddamn game. I think we are almost at the exit of the forest. And if so, well, good for us. But I'm really confused now. I did not remember actually having options to be able to actually head up a secondary weapon. Now, mind you, my most played character was actually a mage, so that's my defense. Yeah, in my defense, that's honestly the reason why. But... But still, honestly. Since there's secondary weapons here that you can actually have equipped, makes you wonder how many you can actually have. Alright, gotta hold down, Ty. Okay, did I take all the potions? No. I took all the potions. There we go. So I remember later in the game, it does get a lot harder, at least from the mage standpoint. I remember having two character slots that I saved. Uh, one to test out the necromancer and one to te test out the archmage. Since for the mage, there's not as much problems to actually decide what you want to go into. Since it's a little bit more simplistic in my opinion, because you got spellcaster compared to melee combatants, or even range, ranged combatants at this point. Magic's a bit more simplistic in some regard. But here we are in the overworld. Honestly, it's kind of cheesy how things all you have, the village, and you have Sea Haven above it. It's really cheesy, honestly. But okay, so win. Okay, what do you have to say? State your business, stranger. Halt. Who are you and what is your business in Sea Haven? And what happened to your clothes? You look like someone dragged you through the jungle. Okay, that's kind of actually what happened. There's another reason why I like the game here. You get a lot of actual choices for what you want to to actually say and it can actually alter the storyline a little bit. Okay, let's see our ship. Let's see. Let's see here which one to go with. Uh, the ship did actually break apart, so. The Dorian, she went down. I believe this is what you, uh, how you pronounce it, by the way. It's always a thing here. I always believe that's how you pronounce something. That was our last supply ship for the season. Hendrik 
isn't going to like this. Alright, look, go talk to Hendrick and tell him about the Dorian Hawk. You'll find him outside the first building, through the gates and to the south. Okay. That simple. So you use all the things to say. Good luck. No, not really. Okay, so activating. So now that is actually activated. So now we can pull back here anytime we want. So that's pretty nice. But let's see, if I remember correctly. Looking for a train. You give me money, I train your followers' abilities. Deal? Okay, so that's actually how we do this. Yeah, so we, now we need a hundred. So now we need to go sell off some things. It's a big hassle. So let's see. You... No, I don't remember... Your potion seller, so Welcome. Do you require let's see trade a... sell yes. Armors. Offhand. Fuck it, let's sell it all. We need the gold anyways. At the moment, we're gonna be fine on armor. So, let's see. What can I do for you? Yes, train. And we'll get an additional companion later. Let's see. I never actually really paid too much attention what his the hawk's abilities were. Razor beak, uh, mana cost increase, but the uh, increase the crit and damage from it. Okay, battle shriek. Um, let's see. Reduces the armor of the enemy. That's nice. Let's see, hard to hit. Increase dodge and defense. That'd be really handy. Okay, let's see. Breaking Talon. Okay, it seems just to increase a bunch of damage that you can do. And of course, the, the movement speed and everything. Everything gets increased. Stun duration. It can stun things? Sweet. Is there anything more than the last one there? Okay, Puff of Feathers. When damaging, let's see, increases the def uh, defense increase dramatically for a few seconds. It's actually another thing really handy. So, good to know. <coughs> Let's go talk to Hendrik. Wherever he is, honestly. You Hendrik? Hendrik! What do you need? Stranger. If you've come to tell me about the ship, then just save your breath. I've had as much bad news as I can stomach today. State your business and be quick about it. Okay, so the information been told that you're the one to see. Okay. Yeah, information. The village sits on the brink of destruction and you want information. Well, today, this day may, my information is not free. You want what I know, then you must first do something for me. For the village, yes? Okay. How do I know you have the information I need? No, let's see. If you want my help, then you have to pay me. It Honestly, it seems to be a relatively decent exchange information for doing some work he needs help with. Our village survives in part from food grown on farms, settlements outside the village. Days ago, we saw smoke from fires near the settlement. So settlements, which can only mean that raiders have come through the forest and sent, sorry, and I sent scouts to find out what happened, but no one has returned. Perhaps some of the farmers have survived, but I know it is not likely. My hope is that the raiders missed you, ignoring some of the crates of food the farmers were readying to bring to Sea Heaven. 
so I see Haven. If you could bring all the crates you can find back from the settlement, then I think the village could survive until we can replenish our stores of food. Can you handle that, stranger? Have no choice at this point. Do what you can to help. Excellent. As soon as you're ready, head out of the village. From there, you must head to the Scorched Hamlot. Find as many crates as you can and bring them back to me. Sorry, to me here. And, okay, good luck and thank you. The village is in your debt. 25 gold data is actually not bad. Okay, so let's see if we can actually find some more. Well, better bow, because crossbow, honestly, could do a bit better. Shame. Welcome to the, to what my smith. What what can I sell to you, stranger? Let's see, trade. Let's see, what can you, what can I get? Three to five, three to five, the exact same thing. Thirteen to seventeen. Okay, we need to be fourth level for that. We're almost fourth level now, actually. Let's buy that. And let's see, fourth level. Okay, fourth level we need to have for what? Let's see what else is there. There's two daggers, the strength of a 12, 14, agility 12. Okay, so we have the gold for it. So, yeah. And wrong button again. Let's see. Weaponry. So he's 12, 12, or fourth level, and just need to be fourth level, okay. And for 12 for strength, we have an 11, so next level we should actually be able to use it exactly for third. Oh, wrong button. Didn't mean that. Okay, so out of town we go. Sounds like the best option at this point. But yeah, we're almost to next level anyways. Okay, why do you explanation mark? Change. Here, stranger, want to make a few gold? The raptors in the forest are growing bold and approaching the gate. If you go out there and destroy their nests, I'll pay you for your troubles. You want me to go out there and hunt vermin? I suppose you could call these men eaters vermin if you wanted. Men eaters? You don't know, so you don't think uh, it'd wa waste time on creatures that weren't dangerous, would you? Suppose not. Sure, I'll do it. Why not? Head east and search there. They always sweep in from the east. Good luck, stranger. Aim for the head, or they'll take yours off. Okay, so we need to go east from here. I always keep pressing the wrong buttons. Yes, let's go out. So, we have two quests. I know this one's a side quest, but we need to actually get some more gold, honestly. Savage Woods are there. You said east from here, which potentially so could this sit weeping force? Let me actually see if the actual quest is listed here. Okay, feeding the village, big game hunter. Okay, raptors bold. Let's see. Yeah, let's view it again. Find the cavern, kill raptors, return to Sea Haven. Weeping Forest, where's the cavern? 
by any chance the cavern this way. Raptor's nest. Okay, that's actually quite simple. But I think we may be in a little bit of trouble here for this one. Because I don't know how difficult this one's supposed to be. I remember the game actually crashing a lot, honestly. So bear with me. Okay, just go over there and do this. Okay, it's a little bit tougher than what was expected. Okay, luckily enough, it seems like the one at a time. Okay. So, that turned him pretty bad. Hit me pretty bad, and this is only the fourth one. Luckily enough, I can fire quickly. Okay, so leveling up. Let's continue to increase our agility, stamina, and luck. But also, let's switch weapons. Let's see. Equipped, equipped. And no. Equip you, then. Secondary, yes. Okay, let's see. There we go. Well, I think I forgot to... Yeah, I forgot the abilities. Now, let's get that a little higher. But can we set on the skill? I don't think we can. Sign button? No, we can't. So it's passive. Okay, we fire pretty fucking fast. Damn. Okay, so at this rate, we're going to actually run through everything quickly. But also, we're going to die quickly too. Okay, let's try these out. Okay, so they deal a decent amount of damage. So, let's see... And, and okay, a new knife. Let's check that out real quick. Okay, so the knife does 6 to 12. Okay, so it's an oversized knife of endurance. Stamina and parry increased by 1. I don't think it's too much worth it compared to what we have now. So let's continue. Why can the idea of the bow though a lot? Okay, not close enough. Especially with the rapid fire shit we got going on. Oh fuck a dragon. Uh oh. Come on, keep firing. Dear god, there was a dragon. I did not remember that being in here earlier. So Consumable, a uh, yeah, health potion, definitely. So, there's pretty much a drakes in here. Or waverns, whatever you want to call them. Drakes, waverns, dragons. Depends on ultimately what you're talking about. But we got a glass orb. Interesting. Okay, slow. You need a will of 15. It's a ranged enchanted glass orb that... Okay, so if we get a will of 15, we can use it. But what's more powerful thinking about it? See, 13 to 17, 13 to 17, but it says it's slow. Well, those are fast. It says it's fastest, mind you. I'll have to compare the two. So, let's kill the raptors. So, yeah. Uh, honestly, I don't know exactly what all everybody actually goes into this game for. Well, actual playstyles. In doing so, I don't know if there's anything that anybody would want to see me do here, so. If anybody does, just let me know. So, I need to keep a melee weapon on me at all times, it seems. 
Okay, so we leveled up again. Um, our will is no one near high enough to be able to use the weapon. But continue going down this route of actually increasing those two ability scores. Let's see, evasion would be best to actually increase. But, yeah. Be best. Thank God it's not one of the Drakes again, at least it's more like a Raptor. Well, not exactly Raptor, but still. Another Buckler. Okay, didn't pick it up for some reason. No, out of the way. Get the gold. Yeah, gold. Okay, I don't know if it's the bird blocking my way there or what. So, we need to. I need to know, honestly, how many companions I can have. Because if I've got more than one, this could potentially be really easy to be a sniper. Of any kind, not just a class. So, a little low, anyways. Five. Oh, shit. Okay. That was close. Because we started stomp for us. Longbow of Wisdom. And a couple ring, okay. Longbow of Wisdom is, let's see, Wisdom needs to be, oh, Agility needs to be 15, be 4th level. So it does the exact same damage as our bow currently, but increases will power and critical rate. Definitely. Definitely equipping that one. So let's see, offhand, let's see, can I equip that? Yes, but... Okay, so it disables our other dagger. So, yeah, um... Good to know. But what else do we have? Thinking about it. Gear. I need to be level 7, but I'm increase willpower by 1. Can I. Do I have any other armor? Let's see. I need to be level 9 for this. Damn. Okay. So, what else is there? Okay, a dread beast. Hit and run! Hit and run! There we go. He was a fast bugger. So, I think I'm going to end it here soon, anyways. Thinking about it, because I think we're close to the end of the dungeon. I'm getting the hang of the range aspect. Okay, we're not close enough. No, aim. Okay, so, seriously? Oh, rocks in the way. Done, no shit. Okay, so we're strong enough to be able to take his hits anyways. Okay, so... I don't think the game... The game hasn't crashed yet, which is good. Yeah, beforehand, the game used to crash constantly. To the point I had to stop playing several times. So, good to know. Yeah, shit. Let's see, consumables. Yes, and yes. Oh, fuck, my companion died. Keep him stunned, because it's the only thing keeping us alive at this point. Fuck's sake. Okay, so. What does that do? Consumable, let's see. So all dead allies in range at half health. Yeah, might as well. Okay, so we fucked up upon going in here. We all extremely too low a level. One thing I do remember though is the companions dying constantly. 
Luckily for me, though, when I played through, I actually was running a mage, so it was literally a hit run tactic all the time, anyways. So, there's nothing too different comparing them. But I think we're almost done with the dungeon here. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Range is not doing too great just yet. So we've got new items. So we can wear this for 10 armor. But we already have that for 10 armor. Okay, so 4. Can't wear that. Can't wear you until level 9. And we're almost. We're getting cool close to level 6, actually. Okay, switch weapons. Stay far enough away from this guy. I don't want to know how much he deals. We're talking about a pretty much a dragon to begin with. I think we cleared out everything. Okay. Yep. So... That's it. <laughs> So, in conclusion, we nearly died. Several locations. Our companion died. Luckily enough, I got a revival thing for him. So let's go back and turn in this quest. Another nice thing I actually like about the game is how it actually changes what your character looks by you actually re-equipping, well, equipping different pieces of armor, weapons. It's kind of nice there, in my opinion. Uh, some RPGs don't actually do that. So, it's nice to actually have that. But, still. It's... This is just a big thing because I'm, to me because I'm a D&D geek. It's... Honestly, I'm so much of a geek myself. It's to the point you call me a basement dwelling geek or nerd, whatever you wanted to. As long as we had a basement because, well don't have a basement where I live. But we succeeded! Okay. So I think I completed the quest. Return to Sea Haven. Okay, yeah, it's the last thing we need to do. Okay, so let's return to Sea Haven. I do wish there was a way to run, though. I don't know of a way to run, so... If anybody knows a way to run inside this game, please let me know. <laughs> yeah, we'll close all this always if you just want to. But still, let's see. You really know how to handle yourself. Well, here's the gold I promised, and my thanks with it. You saved us a load of trouble. 75 gold, okay. So, I think I'm going to level up the companion because I think it leveled up a bit. <laughs> No, I didn't mean to try to shoot you. Yes. What can I do for you? Actually, level five. Damn. Okay. The battle shriek was really going to be handy. One thing I've noticed that we're going to actually spend a lot of gold on to begin with is going to be the companions because they take a lot. Let's save just to make sure we don't lose anything. But thank you all for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you wish to. And yeah. This is not exactly a game I'm going to put down in the comments for everybody to actually go play because it's a PSP game. So, um, but either which way, thank you all for watching. I hope to see you in another video.